Hey Foxes, I'm Haley. And I'm Amari. Welcome back to another episode of RTV. In school news, seniors have until February 1st to pay graduation supplies through Jostens. Remember, this can be done online. The link can be found on HHS Student Information Group on Schoology. If you're interested in participating in Miss or Mr. HHS, you can pick up a packet from the dance room from Miss Almond. FCA would like to invite you to enjoy our local praise band on Thursday, January 26th at 8 a.m. in the arena. This is a full band that will lead in worship. Boys soccer is currently having open practices on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursday each week from 5.30 to 7.15 on the practice fields. They are in the weight room Wednesdays from 6 to 7 p.m. You must be cleared through Planet High School slash big teams in order to participate. Lastly, tryouts will begin January 30th. Please reach out to Coach Boob if you have any questions. Hartsville Lady Fox soccer preseason conditioning has started. If you are interested in playing girls soccer this spring, please let Coach Jewel know as soon as possible. Tryouts will be at the end of January. Interested girls can get Coach Jewel's information from any current soccer player or by speaking with HHS Athletic Director Brad Boob or HHS Athletic Trainer Brad Robinson. Don't forget you can always look for opportunities to give back to your community. Before the break, Coach Gamel's advisory class donated items to the Darlington County Humane Society as a part of a class service project. Consider coming up with a service project of your own advisory group or find other ways to give back. To kick off today's episode, let's check in with Sarah and Gabby to get a feel for how you guys are feeling about starting a new semester. Hey, this is Sarah and I'm with Kelly Milton here to ask her a question about school this far. And the question is, what was your favorite class last semester and why? Definitely art class. Ms. McCall made it a very nice atmosphere in that classroom and we all just kind of got together and bonded over art and molded some clay and painted and it was just really good. <laughs> I'm Gabby. And I'm Ariana. Who was your favorite teacher last semester and why? Um, I would have to say Coach Burkhorn because I just really liked her class and it had like a really good atmosphere. And she was really sweet. Okay. Thanks, girls. Kiaris is here this week with a Disney-themed episode of Trivia. Let's check out Evan and Malik to see who knows the most. Hey, I'm Kiaris, and welcome to RTV's Trivia Game. Today, contestants are Malik Cooks and Evan DeBellis. Today's theme is Disney movies. I'm going to ask you guys a series of 10 questions. Whoever answers the questions right, you need to hit the buzzer first. Whoever is the buzzer first, answers the question first, and you have to let them answer the question. If they're incorrect, then you'll have a chance to steal. Are we clear on the rules? Yeah, let's get started. What are the names of the two sisters in the movie Frozen? Uh, Anna and Elsa. Correct. In the movie Finding Nemo, what is the address that Dory needs to remember? Ten seconds. I don't know. Thank. Dang, what the world? Bro, I don't know. Um, Elmore Road, something. No, I don't know. No. I don't remember. Peace, Germany, 42, all of the way to me. What the world? No shot. <laughs> Bro, no shot. All right. Question three. What is the name of Hito's brother in Big Hero 6? <laughs> Takashi. Is that wrong? <laughs> yeah, you said the same thing I've already said. That is his name. Is it Taki? Is it just Taki? No, it's Tadashi. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Why did everybody say Takashi? Bro, 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 it's the same difference. We're it's not fine. talking about 6 9 here. <laughs> okay, bro. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Question four What is Flynn Rider's real name from the movie Tangle? <laughs> oh. Um. I'll give, I'll give you a hint. It starts with an E. Oh! Eugene. 
Correct. Yeah. Question five. What is the name of the island Moana was born on? <laughs> Montanui. Correct. Yeah. How does he know this stuff? Let <laughs> <laughs> me lock him. In the movie... I took out. In the movie Toy Story, what does Buzz Lightyear say before he flies? To infinity and beyond. Correct. Yes. What poisonous fruit does Snow White eat? Apple. Correct. Yes. Oh, you yeah. stink. What is the name of Simba's home in The Lion King? Pride Rock. I was going to say this is a two-part answer. The Pride Rock is located where? Pridelands? <laughs> Correct. God dang, bro, you stink of trash. What nickname does Boo give Sully in Monsters Inc.? Well, you know, everyone, I guess. Hello. You want to take a guess? No. The answer is Kitty. Okay. Question 10. This is the final question. Who was the fashion designer in The Incredibles? Uh, Edna. All right, correct. <laughs> cool. And our winner is Evan Novellis. Thank you guys for playing our mm -hmm. TV trivia. And yeah, back to the anchors. Cool. Congrats to the winner. Drake and Jack had a chance to... Check out what you guys are listening to on campus. Let's check out your top music choices. I'm Drake. I'm Jack. And this is what Harsel High is listening to. What's your name? I'm Peyton. And what song are you listening to? Love Sosa by Chief P. What's your name? Calliope Williams. What song are you listening to? Thinking Why Are You Quite Frank? If the sky is pink and white, if the grass. What's your name? Tashanti. What are you listening to? Perfect timing by Lil Baby. So. What's your name? Uh, William Pugh. My nickname is Speed, though. All right. Uh, what song are you listening to? Um, I rest my case by Youngboy. All right, thank you. I say right foot creep. Ooh. What's your name? Uh, Dorian. What song are you listening to? Uh, Never again by Yeet. So so. What's your name? My name is Dylan Silas. All right, and what song are you listening to? My Ordinary Life by Living Too Soon. All right. What's your name? I'm Connor. And what song are you listening to? Jesus Shuttleworth by Baby Tron. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. Teriana and Zaria checked in with your favorite gifts from this holiday season. Let's start it over to them. Okay, what's your name? Jamar. Um, what was your favorite Christmas gift this year? Didn't say. So, what's your name? My name's Tyler. What was your favorite Christmas gift that you got this year? Uh, money. Money? What's your favorite Christmas gift this year? Okay, I have two. My favorite Christmas gift was money and two of my, uh, my Pandora charm bracelets, and I have a lot of charms on them. What was your favorite Christmas gift? Uh, my PS5. What was your favorite Christmas gift this year? Um, so I finally got to be a cool kid, and I got AirPods. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Miss Stewart. Okay, and what was your favorite Christmas gift that you got? Uh, my favorite Christmas gift was uh, an iPhone 11. I've had an iPhone 6, but now you no more. Mm -hmm, no more homework. Yeah. Okay, you should put This year. This year? Yeah. My favorite Christmas present. Uh, I got a sleeping bag. I don't know what I've got, that's all. Thanks, girls. Winter sports is in full swing at HHS. Let's check out an update on winter sports with Livian and Law, who check in with Coach Boo. Today we're interviewing Coach Boo with an update on winter sports. Uh, so we're here with Coach Boo, and can we get an interview on winter sports? Sure, absolutely. So uh, just in general, winter sports, um, we've had a really good year so far. Our girls basketball, uh, are, they were ranked seven going into um, the end of last week, and we defeated a number three South Florence. So I haven't seen the most recent rankings, but I'm sure we've increased a lot. So definitely in the top 10 there. Uh, the boys, are, of course, are, are being successful as well. A um, couple big wins kind of over the break. And then coming in, lost a tough one to South Florence in double overtime. But with region just get kicking off, we got a lot of games left to kind of see where we see it going into the playoffs. Wrestling has been um, been doing great. They wrestle in a bunch of tournaments. Their season's a little bit different than um, than you know typical basketball season with it. But um, this is our first year for girls wrestling, and they've won two tournaments right now as a team. They they brought home hardware in two of them. 
Um, and then of course our, our boys, we got a few guys that are ranked pretty high in the state as well. So they're having a really good year um, so far. So those are the three sports we have going in the winter. And uh, so far it's been a good start, but we're only about halfway through. Yes, sir. Now back to the anchors. Thanks guys. Finally today, Diamond is here with a feature on the famous Damar Hamlin Buffalo Bills star. Hey Foxes, today I'm here to shed some light on Damar Hamlin's story. He's a safety for the Buffalo Bills who played college football at the University of Pittsburgh and was selected by the Bills in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft. He's recently been in the news after suffering a cardiac arrest after making a tackle during last Monday night's football game, causing the NFL to suspend a pivotal game against the Cincinnati Bengals that quickly lost significance in the aftermath of a scary scene that unfolded in front of a national television audience. Hamlin was hurt while tackling Bengals receiver T. Higgins on a seemingly routine play that didn't appear unusually violent. Higgins was running with the ball on a 13-yard pass from Joe Burrow when he led with his right shoulder hitting Hamlin in the chest. Hamlin then wrapped his arms around Higgins' shoulder and helmet to drag him down. Hamlin quickly got to his feet, appeared to adjust his face mask with his right hand, and then fell backward about three seconds later and lay motionless. Hamlin was down for about 19 minutes while receiving medical attention. He required an AED in addition to CPR while on the field. As of late, everything seems to be looking brighter for Hamlin. He's been watching his team play from his hospital bed and has been spreading love through Twitter. He started to go fund me for Toys for Tots. His goal was to raise 2,500 online to buy toys for needy kids. It took about two years to reach that goal. After recent events, close to 5.5 million was donated in the first 24 hours after his injury, and the number is still climbing. He has also started selling Dewey Win shirts to raise money for the first responders in hospitals alike. He posted a tweet saying, we all won. I want to give back an ounce of the love y'all showed me. Proceeds of this shirt will go to the first responders in the UC Trauma Center. Go get yours. As of this Tuesday, he's been discharged from the hospital and is headed back home. The Buffalo Bills and the NFL community are very thankful for the positive outcome of an unfortunate situation. Back to the anchors. Thanks, Diamond. It's good to know Damar is on the mend. Well, that's all we have for you today, Foxes. Stay foxy, hearts are high.